Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa and I am The Crafty Author and today is Sewing Talk Tuesday. And I have a lot of stuff, um, I just guess that I kind of want to chat about. So, let's see, new grandbaby was born as you all know and I want to thank you all for the congratulatory um, wishes that you have sent to me. And um, I've tried to get through all of them, so um, so there's that. Um, he is absolutely adorable. He weighed six pounds, five ounces, 19 and a half inches long, and his name is Nathaniel. And he is just so doggone adorable. He's so tiny and cute. <laughs> and he's really, really a very, very quiet baby. Um, he loves to be held, of course. And of course, grandma loves to hold him and spoil him to death. Um, but he is, he is such a delight. He's just very, very, um, he just has really good temperament. So he is fantastic. I have spent a lot of time with my other little grandbaby who is three years old, as you know. Uh, his name is Alex and he is super awesome. And so to give mom and dad a break, my husband and I have been kind of taking him here and there and you know, taking him to play. We took him to see Frozen 2 yesterday at the movie theater, and he really, really loved that. So, um, so that's what I've been doing. I've been spending a lot of time with my kids and my, my grandbabies, and I've, I've been enjoying it. So a lot of fun. They don't stay little forever. So you got to kind of seize that moment, you know. Uh, so there, is what I have been up to. So I've been very, very busy. I've been working, <laughs> taking care of babies. You forget how much work babies are. You do. You forget how much work they are and toddlers too. Um, I'm really glad that we have my grandson every Sunday. So I watch him every Sunday and um, we play with him the whole time. I mean, it's like nonstop play day all day. And it is so much fun. He's just, he is so, he's just such a delight. I just love him so much. Um, anyway, I will go on and on and on about my grandchildren. So I'm going to stop. I just wanted to let you all know <laughs> that that's what that was. And that I did finish the baby quilt just in time. So if you are curious about that, you can go over to my blog and take a look at the um, tumbler quilt, I gave you the pattern for it. Now I have pictures posted up of what it looks like. I also did a video last week, a real quick one, just to kind of show you guys um, things that were happening in my life and what I had been working on and whatnot. So this week, what am I doing? I have made a baby quilt with our quilt block of the month uh, for February, which was the shoe fly. By the way, my husband just got home, so my dog is going crazy upstairs. If you're hearing paw prints, that's what you're that's what you're hearing. Um, I will flip the camera around and show you what that quilt looks like. Um, also, the other day I was just kind of bored. I know how can I possibly be bored, but I was, and so I just came down and grabbed some scraps. Um, from my stash and I am making a wall hanging that I'm hoping to put be right behind me here so that you guys can look at that instead of that white uh, insulation. <laughs> so I think it's time to put a quilt up on the wall. Hanging it's probably going to be a little tricky but my husband has some ideas up his sleeve so we're going to go with that right. So this is what I did. I did post pictures on social media of this. Um, I went ahead tonight and added an inner border and the outer border, as you can see. I'm not sure what I think of that. I actually think it kind of turned out kind of cool. Sometimes less is more, but I think this is actually kind of adding to it. It's, it's different. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, so that's what I've been working on. This particular pattern that I have on here that I used my scraps with is a, what is it called? I just wrote a blog post about it today on my blog. Um, 
<laughs> Why am I coming up with a blank all of a sudden? Uh, let me think about it and it will come to me. It will come to me in just a moment. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep talking until I can remember what this pattern is. Anyway, I did a blog post about it today and how I just grabbed some random scraps and cut these out with my um, AccuQuilt and my AccuQuilt die. This pattern is called Drunkard's Path. I don't know why I couldn't think of that or remember it. Um, like I said, I wrote an entire blog post today about making this with scraps. So it's the Drunkard's Path. I love the way this turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so if you have some scraps lying around, you might want to give this a try. Um, I did, like I said, use my AccuQuilt um, die that I have. I don't know how to make this other than with the die, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it was very easy. It went together very fast. It took me an hour to do it. And uh, so, yeah. And that was including cutting pieces out. So, if you're <laughs> ever wondering, should I get an Accu quilt? If you can afford to do it, I would say it would probably be the best gift you can ever give to yourself. I know that they are a little on the pricey side, but for me personally, I would save up because it has saved my hands a lot of cutting. And as you know, I have arthritis. And so um, it really has helped me out quite a bit. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not paid to say that. I purchased the products on my own and I, I love them. Also, uh, let's see. Um, that's really, really about it. That's all I've really had time for and I'm surprised I've had time for that. Um, I did go to the, um, I've been having some health issues. I think you probably would remember me saying that I'm just feeling kind of off. I don't feel real good, whatnot. Um, well, I really got hit with some pretty bad dizziness. Um, probably about two weeks ago. And I finally went to the doctor and um, I was diagnosed with a pretty severe case of vertigo. Uh, so driving is hard. Um, sitting in front of a computer is hard. I mean, I just feel like I'm constantly spinning. So even doing this is a little bit challenging. So if I seem a little like, Woo, that's why. Um, not to worry, they did blood work, everything came back fine. They said there was no like leukemia or cancer or anything that would be a red flag to even, to even worry about that. Um, I do have an appointment with a physical therapist that's coming up and so hopefully they will be able to help me and knock me back into whack so I can be normal again. Boy, I certainly hope so because this is like miserable. But they have given me some good stuff <laughs> that I do take at nighttime, oh, nighttime only, um, because I would be knocked out during the day otherwise. But that is what is going on with me. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. So um, I'm not really going crazy. I really don't feel the greatest because of that. And uh, yeah, it's the first time I've ever really had vertigo. And um, being dizzy it's kind of scary when you're trying to walk or or anything you know and you're just like you're just so out of off kilter um i think the scariest thing for me was when i was driving and that happened and i had to really really focus and uh, once i got home i was so exhausted from just having to focus so much it's like you're over focusing so i don't drive my husband drives um, so it's a good thing we work together because otherwise I'd be kind of screwed, I think. Um, so back to this guy here, our wall hanging that I'm working on. I have gone ahead and already made the binding for it. And I just took that really pretty peachy colored fabric that I have incorporated into this and, um, also the black. So the, I'll show you the um the border so this black border I had some left over from here 
and then this. That's gonna be the binding. These, um, what's really neat about this is that actually, I made this, to, uh, so all the, the blacks that are in here, the black patterns, are fat quarters. So I used, um, I wanna say a total of four fat quarters, two of each print, and then, no, I'm sorry, six fat quarters two of each print. So the black with these little daisy flowers, that one, I used two of those. I used two fat quarters of these and two fat quarters of the paisley print. And then the other, I just had, I just had that fabric just in my stash. So, and I had the fat quarters in my stash too, but you know, uh, that's how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flip this camera around. I'm gonna show you the baby quilt that I have made with the um, block of the month for February, which was the shoe fly. And I still need to get that quilted and put up into my Etsy shop. So I am going to sell this baby quilt. So I am going to flip the camera, show you what I'm talking about, and then I will be back on camera. Okay, so I feel like I've shown you this before, but anyway, I'm gonna show it to you again because honestly, I just can't remember with everything that has gone on this past week. So just bear with me, okay? Um, but this is what the shoe fly pattern can do. This is one of the designs. And of course I have my other quilt behind it because I still haven't quilted the big uh, pinwheel quilt. Um, this is my quilt wall. I just took some fabric, uh, some pretty pink fabric that I've had from another baby quilt that I made and put a white little border and this cute little pink border along here and um, just to kind of pull the quilt together. But as you can see, this makes a really, really neat pattern. This is a great pattern for a baby quilt. I'm super excited to quilt this. I'm actually thinking hearts or, I don't know, I may just do straight line quilting on it too, because straight line quilting always looks fantastic in my opinion. But, you know, one never knows. Um, let me know what you think down below in the uh, comment section. Should I do hearts or should I just do straight line for that uh, baby quilt? Also, I had some questions about the frog that I shared that I made for my son, or my grandson, um, as a gift for him when his little brother was born. Um, I've a been asked if I can actually show you how to make that little frog patch pattern. I have been in contact with the designer and they have said yes that I can show you how to do it. There are some restrictions on that. Um, I'm working with them currently and as soon as I have that video done and everything is approved, I will be showing you how to make that. So yay, right? I'm excited about that too because those are so cute. Now once you see how easy it goes together, you are gonna want to make a bunch for yourself too and for your loved ones. So anyway, that is it for me today. So if you would like to follow me on social media, links are down below in the description box. If you purchase anything through any of the links that you um, click on down below in the description box, um, those are affiliate links and I will make a small commission and I always appreciate your support um, because every little bit helps to um, continue to make the channel grow. Please feel free to share my videos. That really helps them to get seen. It helps. Um, other people to learn. Sharing is caring. That's what I always say. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to click the little subscribe button and you will get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. And hey, we have a lot of fun here. So why not, right? I mean, it's free. Um, so anyway, that is it for me today. Keep on crafting and I'll see you guys next time on The Crafty Author. Bye-bye.